Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. I'm Big Dan Wilson, and I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving Day weekend. By now, you've all heard that Thanksgiving dinner, according to the American Farm Bureau, has cost consumers about 20% more than it did just a year ago for a number of different reasons, including inflation. Turkey producers, the farmers that work hard to put that centerpiece on the table, are feeling the pinch of inflation as well. A lot of it has come to play with the rising cost of inputs, be it electric, fuel, parts, also the the cost of feed and cost of employment for everyone involved. The turkey alone is about 21% more expensive than 2021, but farmers like Eric and Kurt Menchhofer aren't seeing an increase in their bottom line at the farm level. No, not necessarily. There again, due to our rising input cost, it's costing more to produce that same turkey on our end, let alone our contractors end with feed cost and employment costs. While the rising operation costs like feed, fuel, electricity, and labor have hampered turkey farmers in 2022, there's been another major challenge across the country. Another big factor has been the constant threat of high path avian influenza mainly being the large unknowns surrounding it. High pathogen avian influenza has accounted for 7.5 million turkeys to be taken out of population, and the threat of the disease lasted longer this year than in typical years. There are many measures in place on the farm to protect the flock from HPAI. Uh, at this point, biosecurity has been our biggest forefront, um, you know, making sure we keep the outside out, the inside in. We do all of our own service work as long as we're able to. That way we don't have to worry about other people potentially dragging in a disease. Um, the biggest thing there is yes, just trying to do all of our own work. News of HPAI and other factors weighing down the poultry industry have many consumers concerned about the availability and safety of this year's turkey supply. Thanks to America's resilient turkey farmers and overall food system, neither of those concerns have been an issue for this Thanksgiving. There's plenty of turkey out there to be had. We're working as hard as we can to produce more when we can, and by all means, it's absolutely safe to eat. Consumers can also thank farmers like the Menchhofer brothers for their environmental efforts as well, something they take as much pride in as producing turkeys. As far as sustainability, a lot of it is we, we use a lot of the manure as fertilizer so we don't have to purchase commercial fertilizers. Uh, sustainability wise and then environment wise we're putting up a manure storage facility to uh, keep the keep our manure or in our bedding under roof and you know out of the environment back to the survey from the american farm bureau which projected thanksgiving cost just over 64 dollars for a family of 10 even though that data is 10 dollars higher than a year ago you'd be hard pressed to feed a feast like many of us have enjoyed for under six dollars and fifty cents a person Thanks to America's farmers, that's something to be thankful for. I'm Big Dan Wilson saying thank you to all the Buckeye farmers for what you do. We'll be back with more in Ohio Country today right after this.